It's hard to imagine in this day and age, isn't it, that we actually went out to do this. Yes, literally, sometimes twice a week. I'm not talking, of course, about going to the pictures, but if you think about it way back in the 30s, 40s, and really right through to the 1960s, a lot of people simply could not afford to do this simple thing every single week. Mm. As ever, what is it? Hi, good morning. Neil Sean here. Nice to see you. Hope you're well. And as ever, thank you so much for taking the time to join me today. As I say, in my travels wandering around London, I do like finding these little gems out that you think, wow, really, that happened here? And then you kind of look into it a bit. And as ever, there's always a story, isn't there? A bigger story attached to that particular event. Behind me is the central wash. Yes, may not look anything now, but way back in 1949, in this month, it was a big event, let me tell you, because this was the UK's very first coin-operated laundry, laundromat, whatever you call it, washing machine place. Now, it's hard to imagine, isn't it, when you think, because I remember the time when not everybody had a washing machine or tumble dryer in their home. They're called white goods, I think, now, aren't they? But you see, people actually went out to take, can you imagine, to take their dirty laundry? Hence the trays of washing your dirty laundry in public. Remember that one. Now what's interesting here, as I say, is when you look back further on, it apparently was going to be this mega, mega huge event. They hoped to get a major movie star. Allegedly, the Gainsborough uh, sort of period drama icon, Margaret Lockwood. Somehow that fell through. But nonetheless, it opened to great fanfare. So much so, there were queues around the block very similar to, say, maybe going to the pictures. Of course, people were a little bit more reserved then, you know, and they had to make sure that people felt secure and not everybody was simply looking through or looking at each other's dirty laundry. If, of course, you were wealthy enough and you wanted, say, to save a few pence, you may, save, may send along your manservant or, indeed, your assistant maid, something like that. Now, in 2023, you would think, is there still a call for it? Well, according to the owners behind me here, the laundrette is still going strong and as busy as ever. And lots of people come in and have no idea that it truly all started here in Queensway, London. Now, for those historians, yes, there was an attempt in Liverpool a little bit earlier on, but sadly, it didn't come to fruition. So London sadly beat Liverpool on this particular occasion. As I say, if you wander around London, you do see these things and think, wow, what happened there? Is it really just me or as ever, as I often say here on the show, we're all truly walking through history. And whatever we think we're doing now, or we think we're different and making bold strides, others have gone before, including washing their dirty laundry in public, quite literally right next to me here. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.